Over the past five months, our world has gone through many changes that have affected our lives and our daily routines, like going to school, seeing our friends, and for many, including myself, summer travel plans. I think right now the best we can do is stay positive and help support our families and communities as best we can. My plan is to help you get through these tough times by posting new lessons every single day and also wearing a mask when I go out. Let's continue our creative journey together by drawing Inteleon from Pokemon. Now we're going to be drawing this character from the side looking over towards the left. So let's start at the very top of our page and draw in a large circle for the eye. So we're going to start at the very top in the middle. So we come all the way down towards the bottom of the eye. Round this out. And go back up towards the top. And then we'll pull the eyelid over on top of the eye. Let's start on the left side at the very bottom here. And curve up and then out towards the right. Let's add a thick shadow along the right side. We're going to step in, it's going to come down to taper in towards the bottom of the eye, and then we'll fill that area in black. And we'll tuck the iris and pupil underneath the eyelid. We're going to start back over on the left side. We're going to draw a half circle, coming down and then up, and we'll trace this out on the inside. Now we're going to move down and draw in the mouth. We're going to start over on the right side, just underneath the eye. We're going to start by curving down and then across towards the left. And then from here, it's going to bend this down, going out and then down. And then we'll bend that back out towards the tip of the beak. And then from the tip of the beak, we're going to step back and draw the lower edge of the head. It's going to curve up and then bend that down. Let's go back to the left side and draw on the top of the head. We we'll start from this point. We'll start by going straight up. We we'll round up the top of the head, going above the eye. I'm just going to pull this out towards the back of the head, rounding this out. I'm just going to pull that in towards the back of the neck, to right about there. Now we're going to tuck the other eye in behind the side of the head. So we're just going to line this up, sort of bump out the eye, come down, and then just pull that back in. And then we'll add a seam going across the front of the beak, starting from the inside of the eyelid. So curve out and then down towards the front. And then we'll step in, draw a short angle line going up for the nostril. Now I'm going to go back to the bottom of the head and draw the outside profile of the body. We're going to start out here. So we curve the body going out, come down, just bend that back over towards the right. And we'll curve the back of the head, come in and then down towards the top of the arm. And then we're going to draw the arm bent with the hands on the hip. Let's start up here at the base of the neck, draw a straight angle line going out, and then down towards the right. I'm just going to curve the forearm coming down and in towards the wrist. Come down, and then just bend that in to right about there. And then from here, I'm just going to round up the hand going up towards the fingers. And bend this up towards the top. Now we're going to add three fingers. Starting up here, we're going to start by curving out and then down. Round up the tip of the finger with a small half circle. And just follow that same curve, going up and then over. Let's stack two more fingers in behind. We start on the outside, curve out, up, and then in. And then the third finger, we're going to step up, go out, up to the top of the hand. I'm just going to pull this around and then down towards the wrist. Let's go back up to the top and round out the shoulder. From here, it's going to curve around and then back out. Let's follow that same angle line, going down and out towards the inside of the elbow. And then from here, we'll follow that same curve, coming down and then tucking that in behind the top of the hand. Let's add the edge of the glove. Starting up here, it's going to curve up and then back down. Let's go back up to the bottom of the arm and curve the back, going in and then back out on top of the hand. Now we're going to go back up and draw on that large fin. We're going to start at the top of the head, curve up, and then bend that out towards the right. And then we'll taper that back in so it gets a little bit wider as we come in. We're not going to go all the way. We want to leave a gap along the top of the head. And we'll curve across the top of that, going up and then pulling that down. Let's go back up to the top and draw on the fins. Starting from this point, I'm just going to round this out and then pull that in. I'm just going to round up the inside and go back out. Let's add another fin going out and back in towards the side of the head. 
Let's add one more fin along the bottom. We're gonna go a little bit bigger. I'm gonna round up the inside. I'm gonna go out. Round this out. I'm gonna pull that in just underneath the head. And we'll bend that back down towards the top of the arm. Let's add some detail to the body. From the outside, we're gonna step in. We're gonna start with a point. Now from here, I'm just gonna curve down and then out towards the right, in behind the hand. Go back up to the top, we're gonna curve this out and then down towards the side of the body. And then halfway along this curve, it's gonna angle down and out towards the left. Let's continue working down with the legs. Now the front leg is gonna be straight all the way down towards the heel. So we're gonna line up with the back, coming down just underneath the hand, draw a straight line, coming all the way down towards the heel. Let's round out the bottom of the foot. We come down and then up towards the first claw. And now we're gonna draw on the first claw. We're gonna go up and then hook that down towards the tip. And then we'll just pull that back up and in towards the base of the socket. And we'll stack two more claws in behind. Starting from the top, curve up and then down. And pull that back in behind. We'll do that one more time. Let's go back to the top of the last claw. I'm gonna draw the top of the foot. I'm gonna curve up and just pull that down towards the ankle. And then we'll go all the way back up towards the top and draw a straight line coming down on top of the foot. Let's go back up to the top, just underneath the hand, we're gonna draw a curve, coming out and then down towards the side of the leg. Now the back leg is gonna be bent in behind the front leg. So let's start at the very top. It's gonna angle down and then out. Now from here, we're just gonna curve this in and then down towards the ankle. Now the front leg is gonna cover the bottom of the back foot. So we step over, draw the first claw. We go up and then down. Pull that back in. Let's add two more claws. Stepping over, and tucking that back in, and do that one more time. And then again, we're gonna go back up to the top of the last claw, curve the foot going up, and then down towards the ankle. And we'll move back up to the top and trace the outside of the leg. We're gonna step over, draw that same angle line, coming out, and then down towards the knee. And then from here, we'll draw a straight angle line coming down and then in on top of the foot. Let's add a trim along the inside of the back leg. We we'll start from the very top, come down, and then bend that out. Now we're not gonna worry about the back arm as it's gonna get covered by the cape and the tail. So let's move back up and separate the head from the body. So we start on the outside, curve down and then up. And then we'll move back down and draw on the tail. Let's start at the very top of the leg. Start by curving out and then down. Just gonna round up the bottom and then go back up. Now we're gonna go back up and just swirl around the tail. Go straight up, round this out, and we'll just swirl that back in. Coming around and then in. And then we'll thicken up the tail. Starting from the tip, I'm just gonna taper this around so it gets thicker as you come around. And then down. Let's come all the way down towards the bottom of the tail. Round this out. And again, we're going a little bit thicker as you come back in towards the body. Round up the bottom. Go up. Now I'm just going to pull this back in behind the leg. And then finally, we'll layer the cape in behind the body. Let's start at the very top of the arm. Curve down and then out. We'll continue this curve coming out towards the end. We'll pull that down and in behind the tail. And that's pretty much it. There's Inteleon from Pokemon. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.